Today I'm going to demonstrate some radioactive materials that we, we see in everyday life. This is a Geiger counter and the back side of it detects uh, radioactivity. In each of these three sources, one, two, three, the source of radioactivity is alpha particles, which is the helium nucleus emitted by the radioactive material. This, uh, this is a Coleman lantern, has a little a lantern mantle that goes in a Coleman stove. It has um, some uh, thorium in it that's radioactive. This is a smoke detector and it has um, americium, also a radioactive material, to help to detect um, smoke. So quite a good bit of um, radioactivity there. This is a piece of um, fiesta ware, a dinner plate with a glaze that has uranium oxide in it. These were manufactured before World War II, and in fact there was enough uh, radioactivity in one of these plates that a woman placed a plate in a bag with some x-rays and the plate took a picture of itself on the, on the x-ray plates. So they're no longer manufactured. Um, it's especially dangerous when the plate is cracked, then the uranium oxide can get into your food and that's really not so good. This is a piece of lead that you can use to shield any of these sources. Alpha particles aren't that energetic and, um, and all you need to shield yourself from say, say this Coleman mantle is this um, lead. So there's no shielding, and here's with shielding, the same for the other sources. Um, so if you want to protect yourself against uh, various sources of radioactivity in your life, I suggest a lead suit.